Welcome to Unsung, the area's premier nonprofit news show. I'm Christopher Whitlatch. Normally, Anthony Walker is here, but we gave him the day off because it's a special day here in Pittsburgh. It's October 3rd, 2013, the fifth annual day of giving here in Pittsburgh and also taking place in Westmoreland County as well today. So Anthony's off playing with a rubber duck and I'm going to take you around the city, introduce you to some of the nonprofits, hear their stories about how Day of Giving means to them and kind of give you a feel for what Day of Giving really means to this community and to you who actually support these nonprofits on this day. So from Unsung and the Pittsburgh Foundation, thank you so much for your generosity on the Day of Giving and uh, let's take a look around the city. Hey, it's just after 11 a.m., October 3rd. It's Day of Giving. We're here in Shenley Plaza at the Conflict Kitchen. This is our first stop. There are many events going on that the Unsung Crew will be at. I just got word that we're well over $2 million raised today. Day of Giving goes till 11.59, 59 p.m. today, and we're gonna be around all over the place, bringing you great stories about nonprofits, talking to donors and uh, other organizations like Conflict Kitchen that are actually giving away a free dessert today for anybody that gives. So if you can get here by between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., you can get your free dessert at Conflict Kitchen. So I hope you stopped out today. We're in Shenley Plaza, right across the street from the Cathedral Learning. At the basic level, we are a restaurant that we, we serve food from countries that are in conflict with the United States. Um, and it's a way of bringing people to conversations that um, don't often happen otherwise about nations and peoples that are often are often characterized um, in society in general. We're pleased to be participating in the Day of Giving once again. Uh, one of the main things that we do at Sprout is we fund local community organizations as well as individuals and projects and the Conflict Kitchen, we've supported them twice in the past with what we call seed money and so we're kind of teaming up with them today at the first of our remote giving locations. So they uh, generously donated dessert to any Sprout uh, donors that stop by today between 11 and 1 o'clock. Well we were supported by the Sprout Fund twice. When we Conflict Kitchen first opened up, they were behind giving us some seed money to start up and as well as when we moved location and opened up this kiosk and kind of expanded our production. They were also behind the funds that went into that move. Um, and so, I mean, the Sprout Fund is an important initiative for us in Pittsburgh. Um, one, because they're part of the reason we exist, but also in terms of the Pittsburgh community. Um, we want there to be funding for initiatives like Conflict Kitchen and um, other cool things like that. It's a great opportunity for Sprout and all the other participating organizations to get the word out, kind of raise awareness for both what we're doing in the community as well as obviously money and the match uh, from the Pittsburgh Foundation is just an added incentive to give on this day and receive a little bit extra money. People can find out more about Comfort Kitchen. First, the best way is to come here. Um, you don't have to buy food. Um, part of what we want to do is talk to people about what's going on in Cuba right now. Um, U.S.-Cuba relations, how those are developing. Um, in a month, we'll be going switching to North Korean food. Um, and but if you can't make it down here, we also have a website, ComfortKitchen.org. Feel free to go there for more information about our menu, when we're open, things like that. It's lunchtime, and Day of Giving is almost over three million dollars raised in Allegheny County. We're going to head over to Market Square, where Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership puts on the farmers market every Thursday through October. There, we'll meet them, as well as the Pittsburgh Opera who's performing today in Market Square as part of Day of Giving events and activities, and we'll also talk to some other organizations. Hi, I'm Lee White, and I'm with the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, and we are very pleased and proud to be participating in the 2013 Day of Giving. Our organization does a wide variety of work for downtown Pittsburgh to enliven it, uh, to bring economic development into the central business district of downtown Pittsburgh. And we're really excited because every Thursday from May through October, we produce the farmer's market in Market Square. And it just so happens that the Day of Giving this year coincides with the farmer's market. So we thought it was a perfect day to come down, set up our mobile donation center, and uh, just talk to people about what we do and ask them to consider making a donation to us as it will go further and help us to do more in downtown Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Renee Pichocki, the director of the Office of Public Art 
and I'm here at Pittsburgh Gives on the Day of Giving. We have uh, set up a booth here in Market Square and we are soliciting donations for the Greater Pittsburgh Arts Council and the Office of Public Art. Uh, the Office of Public Arts a partnership between the Arts Council and the City of Pittsburgh Department of City Planning. And we're working together to solicit donations today for the Office of Public Arts three programs that support individual artists the Pittsburgh Artist Registry, the Artist Opportunities Listserv, and our Public Art 101 workshop. So I'm so happy to be here today. I'm Tiffany with the Greater Pittsburgh Arts Council. We are out uh, working the Day of Giving, trying to get people to donate both to us and to all of the other organizations that are worthy in this community. So many nonprofits, so many arts organizations that really need support from individuals as other forms of of support have, have dried up over the years. So we're really excited. The Arts Council itself does all kinds of service and support for the entire arts community. We give out grants to artists. We help arts managers get better at what they do. We do all kinds of advocacy work. So much going on all the time, and it's really exciting. Our website is pittsburghartscouncil.org if you'd like to learn more. And thank you to the Pittsburgh Foundation for putting on the Day of Giving. It is so, so vital to us, and we're so grateful. So, well, I'm Christopher Hahn, General Director of Pittsburgh Opera, here in the center of Pittsburgh at Market Square, this fantastic farmer's market, and uh, Pittsburgh Opera has been able to give a gift back to, to the city of Pittsburgh by performing great opera hits, and the crowd here has just lapped it up. So our task is to encourage everyone to come from outside and the inside, where of course we're uh, performing Aida coming up, Magic Flute, and a great uh, season, which will be our 75th anniversary season. So Pittsburgh Opera is one of the great cultural treasures uh, of this region, and uh, we're all very proud of it. And um, But really being out in the street with the smells of food and people coming from their offices, hungry for food, and then suddenly hungry for music and for opera is a fantastic uh, sight to see. It's 3 p.m. And we're pushing on towards midnight and we're almost at $4 million raised here in Allegheny County. We're at the Toonseum, where Joe Woes has opened up the museum for free admission and has a laptop station where people can come in and make a donation. A donation to Toonseum of $25 or more would get you this snazzy t-shirt that I've been wearing around all day. Hi, this is Joe Woes, Executive Director of the Toonseum Pittsburgh's Museum of Comic and Cartoon Art. We are a nonprofit museum dedicated to all things cartoons and comics. That includes everything from comic strips, comic books, animation, uh, video game design, greeting cards, children's book illustration. It's a, a broad celebration of many mediums and genres. And this year was a, a very special to us um, as we sort of realized uh, using the initials DOG, Day of Giving Dog. And so we reached out to perhaps one of the most famous cartoon dogs at all. So we received a special permission from Patrick McDonald. He created these special limited edition t-shirts that we were able to then provide to other nonprofits and as an incentive for those giving to the Toonseum during this special day. So one of the things that Day of Giving presents to us is an opportunity to really increase uh, the amount of funding we have for special exhibitions. Uh, a great example is this year, the exhibit we're tying a lot of these funds to is our Wonder Women on page and off. The exhibit is a celebration of the role of women, not just as they're viewed in comics and portrayed in comics, but the actual women who create the comics. It's an exploration dating back all the way to the late 1800s to present time. You know, it's more than to us, more than about supporting just the Toonseum. Um, we have a lot of wonderful neighbors on this block, um, and it's an opportunity to support them as well. Um, groups like Bricolage, which I think is one of the most innovative groups in Pittsburgh. Really, it's one of the most innovative theaters in the nation. Um, and giving to those small nonprofits allows them to present the kind of quality entertainment that they do. So when you support us, you support Bricolage, you're really supporting an entire neighborhood of unique and quirky little nonprofits. You can visit us online at toonzeum.org, and then of course follow us on Facebook and Twitter as Toonzeum, and you can support us via pittsburghgives.org. I'm still here at Toonseum, but the Unsung crew is just about to head out the door to the Strip District, where at Savoy, they're hosting the Northside Alliance, and we're going to get that story for you. Hi, I'm Kelly Schneider. I'm the Vice President of the Board of Directors for the North Shore Community Alliance. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization located in the Manchester area of the Northside in Pittsburgh. Uh, we seek to help families in need, families in crisis. Uh, we have many different uh, facets to our nonprofit organization, including uh, a food bank, different outreach programs. We also work with the local schools. 
So a lot of what we do is county-based. We uh, respond to a lot of crisis uh, in the community, but through our mission statement, we've tried to reach out to even more people, get more involved, build different uh, groups to reach out to the community. One of our uh, most recent things that we do is a back to work, a work program. Day of Giving is really important to our organization uh, because we're one of the smaller nonprofits in the city, but we try to do a lot of great things. Uh, the Day of Giving is one of our main events during the year. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to bring our supporters together uh, in one event, and it allows them to not only give, but make a twice as big of an impact uh, for what they give us. So the name of our organization is the North Shore Community Alliance. We have a website. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, the North Shore Community Alliance. We're always uh, looking for new volunteers, new uh, people to be involved in the organization. Uh, we always need food bank volunteers and, and anything that we can give. In addition, we also have something we like to call Carol's Closet, where we take uh, actual donations of uh, household items and clothing. So we're always looking for more donations for that. Our last stop tonight is at Dry Log Brewery in Millville. They're hosting New Sun Rising for a happy hour, where you're going to hear more about the organization as well as see some of the projects they're up to. So let's see what's happening out there. Hey guys, everybody listen up. The funds raised at 6 p.m. for the Day of Giving have reached 4.5 million. Fantastic job, everybody. Keep it up. Thanks, Pittsburgh Foundation. Um, hi, I'm Scott Wolovich. I'm with New Sun Rising, and we are a fiscal sponsor here in Pittsburgh. We support small grassroots projects and community initiatives by giving them 501c3 status and mentoring um, to successfully complete the projects of their dreams. Uh, New Sun Rising provided the original fiscal sponsorship to the Millville Community Library. Uh, what it provided for us was it was a fast forward button and a real catalyst for to go from an idea that's in your head um, and understanding that in order to make these ideas happen, you need to sit down and fill out a lot of paperwork, which is really daunting and not fun and the, really the antithesis of why you want to create something in the first place and it can really suck that energy out of you. Uh, great thing about New Sun Rising was that they adopted the library as, as a project, um, provided fiscal sponsorship and what it allowed me to do is to immediately just focus on what I wanted to do which was making a library and creating a community space here in Millville. We've done a lot of a variety of things. So New Sun Rising is an umbrella organization that sponsors many projects, many of which uh, people may not know that New Sun Rising was involved with. Um, we're sponsoring uh, Obscure Games, um, City of Play. Um, they go out and have creative, interactive uh, games throughout the city. Um, Mr. Small's Theater, which a lot of people know here in Millvale, they actually have a nonprofit branch that we sponsor called Creative Life Support. Um, they do band camps, uh, rock workshops for under, underprivileged youth throughout Allegheny County. Um, we've sponsored anything from county level uh, farming initiatives out at Round Hill Park to zombie operas. We have an, a very active online community that we're talking to. Um, we're not doing so many events because we're still in this restructuring phase, but 2014, 2015 are looking to be very promising and exciting for us. In terms of bringing on new projects, creating new grassroots opportunities for people in Pittsburgh. What uh, Day of Giving has allowed us to do in the past is really um, again, bring together our organization, raise funding that's allowed us to support creative projects in the region, um, offset a lot of our administrative uh, uh, costs that we've had that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to cover. It's uh, wonderful to see community come together. Um, I think my, one of my favorite things about Pittsburgh is seeing the community come together on days like this. Um, there's so many great organizations, so much good going on. And the fact that Pittsburgh Foundation has taken the lead to provide this day of giving, not just from the financial stance, but from the, the cooperative span, stance of bringing everybody together, is, it's a fantastic thing. Uh, folks can get a hold of us through the website, newsunrising.org, um, and they can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, sign up for our email newsletters. Uh, we're always happy to take on new volunteers, and we're always excited to hear about new projects. Even if our sponsorship opportunities are closed, we're always excited about collaborating and seeing someone's dream come true, be it with us or with one of our friends or partners. So I, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Day of Giving and it's almost midnight now. And so let's take a look at the final leaderboard and see just how we did. 
That was awesome, Pittsburghs. Thank you so much for generosity. You really make Day of Giving what it is. You might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles after our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter at PGH on video or hashtag unsung PGH. Check out previous episodes in our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org, as well as video and audio versions on iTunes and YouTube. Got a nonprofit you think is cool? Let us know why, and you might just find yourself on Unsung. Email me at whitlatchc at pghfdn.org. Thank you for watching Unsung. Please share it with your friends. I'm Christopher Whitlatch reminding you, you already did. You kept it awesome, Pittsburgh. Said I'ma crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. Any